Dear students, I am going to present to you the important theorem pertaining to the normal distribution, which reads as follows. For the normal distribution, the odd order moments about the mean are all equal to zero, and the even order moments are given by mu 2n is equal to 2n minus 1 into 2n minus 3 into 2n minus 5, so on, so on, so on, into 5, into 3, into 1, and this whole thing multiplied by sigma raised to 2n. Here, n is a positive integer, n can be 1, 2, 3, and so on. Uh, as far as the proof of this particular part of the theorem is concerned, my dear students, we proceed as follows. Mu 2n, the 2nth even order moment about the mean, can be written as the expected value of x minus mu whole raised to 2n, which can be written as the integral from minus infinity to infinity of x minus mu whole raised to 2n into the PDF of the normal distribution, which is 1 over sigma under root 2 pi into e raised to minus half x minus mu over sigma whole square. And of course, with that, we write dx. Uske baad, we make the transformation, which we are making a lot of time and which makes our life simple. We let z equal to x minus mu over sigma, implying that sigma z is equal to x minus mu, and dx by dz is equal to sigma, implying that sigma dz is equal to dx. Also, please note that with this transformation, the limits remain unchanged. All right, so if we want to apply it, then what do we have? We get mu to n is equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity of sigma z raised to 2n, because x minus mu ki jaga pe humne put kar diya sigma z, aur iske saath multiply hoga 1 over sigma square root of 2 pi into e raised to minus half into z square, because jo x minus mu over sigma wahan pe likha wa tha, uski jaga pe bhi z a jayega, aur uske saath jo dx likha wa tha, uski jaga pe sigma dz. Ab ye jo sigma dz ke saath hai, this will cancel with the sigma which is in the denominator uh, next to square root of 2 pi, aur ye jo sigma z whole raised to 2n hai, isme sigma raised to 2n can be brought outside. So what do we have now? We can write sigma raised to 2n, aur wo jo square root of 2 pi hai, usko bhi bahar le aate hai, so sigma raised to 2n over square root of 2 pi into the integral from minus infinity to infinity of z raised to 2n, which can also be written as z square raised to n, or iske saath, we have e raised to minus z square over 2 dz. Acha students, ab isko note kare ke integral ke andar jo function, jo expression hai, uh, that is an even function of z. Why is that? Because as you know, even function wo hota hai na, ki jis mein agar z ki jaga minus z put kare, so you get exactly the same expression. So you can see that it is z raised to 2n or ya z square raised to n. So z ki jaga pe agar minus z put karenge, to zahir hai ke it will be the same. Similarly, power ke andar jo hai, wahan pe bhi, it will remain the same. Therefore, we can now apply that particular rule that applies in the case of even function. Or wo kya hai? The integral from minus alpha kehlein, kuch kehlein, from minus alpha to alpha of an even function that is equal to twice the integral from zero to alpha of that function. Yape it is not a finite number. It is actually minus infinity and plus infinity. 
so what we have can now be written as mu to n is equal to 2 into sigma raised to 2n over square root of 2 pi into the integral from 0 to infinity, no longer minus infinity to infinity, but 2 laga diya, is liye integral now is from 0 to infinity of z square raised to n into e raised to minus z square over 2 and we write with it dz. Ab ye jo expression hai, is ke andar students, we will apply an other transformation. We will let y be equal to z square over 2. Wo jo e raised to minus z square over 2 likha hai, wo minus ke saath jo cheez hai, usko hum y keh rahe So, this implies that 2y is equal to z square and square root of 2y, uh, the positive square root of 2y is equal to z. Positive is liye ke hamara yes jo kuch uh, hum this cheez ko thaad deal kar rahe hai is vak that is z, that is going from 0 to infinity. So, square root bhi hum is liye uska positive lenge. Alright, also we have dy by dz is equal to 2z over 2 and that is equal to z implying that dy is equal to z dz. But we can also write dz is equal to dy over z magar vaha ab hum z nahi likhenge balki hum likhenge square root of 2y dz is equal to yani dy over square root of 2y is particular transformation may be aap dekh sakte hain bahut aasani ke saath that the limits will remain unchanged so then what do we have we have mu 2n is equal to 2 into sigma raised to 2n over square root of 2 pi integral from 0 to infinity, same limits, aur wo jo likha wa tha z square raised to n, uski jaga ab hum likh rahe hain, 2y raised to n, e raised to minus, ab kya likh rahe hain, e raised to minus y, aur uske saath dz ki jaga dy over square root of 2y. Iske baad students, aap isko सारी चीजें जो कंबाइन होती हैं जिस तरह डील करते हैं हम इन चीजों के साथ उस तरह डील करें so that we arrive at the following expression mu to n is equal to sigma raised to 2 n over square root of pi वो जो 2 था वहाँ पे square root के अंदर उसको हमने mix कर दिया merge कर दिया with the other twos so sigma raised to 2 n over square root of pi into 2 raised to uh, n plus half minus half so that is 2 raised to n it only um, uske baad of course into the integral from 0 to infinity y raised to n minus half kyunke wo jo niche square root of uh, 2y tha uska wo 2 alag karke y jo tha, usko aap isko saath jab milate hain. So, this is what you get, uh, y raised to n minus half into e raised to minus y dy. Students, hume ab nazar aana shuru ho gaya hai, ke this in expression that we have in the integral, that is convertible to the gamma function. Gamma function ki definition kya hai? That should be on your fingertips. You should know that for a variable y, the gamma function is as follows the integral from 0 to infinity of y raised to alpha minus 1 into e raised to minus y dy is equal to its gamma alpha. So, yaha pe hame e jo y ki power hai, it has to be brought into this form that it is something minus 1. Yani alpha jisko mene kaha, it can be some, something minus 1. So, how do we achieve this over here? We will simply add and subtract 1 uh, in that power. So, what do we have now? We can write mu 2n is equal to 2 raised to n, sigma raised to 2n over square root of pi into the integral from 0 to infinity 
of y raised to n minus half minus 1 plus 1 e raised to minus y dy ab usko is tarah merge karenge it becomes something minus 1 y ki power mein and then it will be the gamma function so kisko merge kare we should write that power of y as n plus half minus 1 yani wo jo humne plus 1 kiya tha wo minus half plus 1 minus half is obviously plus half aur wo dusra minus 1 to wahan pe pehle hi maujood hai so now this is the gamma function alpha jo maine abhi thodi der pehle kaha tha uski jagah pe we have n plus half the integral from 0 to infinity of y raised to n plus half minus 1 into e raised to minus y dy this is gamma of n plus half so therefore now our word expression is mu to n is equal to 2 raised to n into sigma raised to 2n into gamma of n plus half over square root of pi ab ye kare ki jo gamma of n plus half isme likha hua hai usko dusri tarah likh lijiye gamma of 2n plus 1 over 2 aur uske baad wo rule apply kar dein uh, jo ke valid hota hai for gamma function always uh, we know that gamma alpha can be written as alpha minus 1 into gamma of alpha minus 1 yani jo hai usse ek kam to yahan pe gamma of 2n plus 1 over 2 can be written as 2n minus 1 over 2 into gamma of 2n minus 1 over 2 ye aap khud isko solve karke dekhiye ki jo main keh rahi hu are you getting this or not uh, you will get it ab iske baad एक स्टेप uh, आगे चलें यही वाला रूल फिर दोबारा अप्लाई करेंगे सो वी कैन राइट म्यू टू एन इज इक्वल टू टू रेस टू एन इंटू सिग्मा रेस टू टू एन ओवर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फाइव इंटू टू एन माइनस वन ओवर टू अब ये जो आगे है गैमा ऑफ टू एन माइनस वन ओवर टू इसकी इसको उस रूल के तहत कैसे लिखेंगे टू एन माइनस थ्री ओवर टू into gamma of 2n minus 3 over 2 ab uske baad phir wohi rule apply kare is tarah jab hum successively apply karte chale jate hain to students finally what do we get we get the following uh, mu to n is equal to 2 raised to n into sigma raised to 2n over square root of pi into 2n minus 1 over 2 into 2n minus 3 over 2 into 2n minus 5 over 2, so on, so on, so on, into 5 by 2, into 3 by 2, into 1 by 2, half, yani into gamma half. अब अगर आपको इसमें कोई शक है, तो आप n की कोई actual numerical value put करके देख लें. You will see that you will get it. For example, if n is equal to 3, mu 2n would be mu Two into three, that is mu six, yani sixth moment about the mean. So that will be equal to two raised to three, yani eight, into sigma raised to two into three, yani sigma raised to six over square root of pi. Ab ye jo aage hai, isko dekhiye. Two n minus one over two, n ki jagah three put kare, to aapko milta hai six minus one over two, and that is five over two. और उसके साथ वाले को देखिए वेन यू पुट एन इक्वल टू थ्री देर टू एन माइनस थ्री ओवर टू यू गेट टू इंटू थ्री सिक्स माइनस थ्री ओवर टू एंड दैट इज थ्री ओवर टू और इसी तरह उससे अगला दैट विल बी वन बाई टू तो आप देख रहे हैं कि वो जो तीन टर्म्स एन में लिखी हुई हैं दे आर दी टर्म्स दैट यू गेट इन द केस एन इक्वल टू थ्री इसी तरह आप कोई और करके देख लें इस केस में जो फर्स्ट टर्म है वो खुद ही फाइव बाई टू जो है वो ही फर्स्ट टर्म अब इसके बाद दे इज वन अदर रूल विच इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफ कोर्स एंड वेल नोन एंड डिराइव और वो क्या है एक रिजल्ट है वो है कि गैमा हाफ इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ पाई सो अब वो जो एंड में गैमा हाफ लिखा हुआ था उसकी जगह पे स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ पाई डाल दीजिए सो वट यू गेट यू गेट 
2 raised to n, sigma raised to 2n over square root of pi into 2n minus 1 over 2 into 2n minus 3 over 2, so on, so on, 5 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into square root of pi. So, what your denominator wala pi hai, obviously that will cancel out with this particular pi. Or ek cheese or cancel hogi. That is very interesting. Ye jo 2 raised to n hai, students, that cancels out with all those 2s that are in the denominator. Wo hai na ke niche 2, to agar aap war se dekhe aur n ko agar koi numerical value put karke dekhe, to aap ko nazar aega ke unki tadad n hai. So, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 n times. So, that is 2 raised to n. So, the numerator wala 2 raised to n hai, that will cancel out with this one. So, what are we finally left with? We are left with the result that mu 2n, the 2nth moment about the mean of the normal distribution is given by 2n minus 1 into 2n minus 3, so on, so on, so on, into 5 into 3 into 1 into sigma raised to 2n. This completes the proof of this particular part of this theorem. And now, students, I would like to uh, give you two important uh, points. In this expression, if you keep n ko 1, rakhe, what do you get? 2 into 1 minus 1, that is 2 minus 1, that is 1. Yani jo peli term hai, wo 1 hai. Wo ya is expression ki jo akhri term hai 1, that is the only term. So, 1 into sigma raised to 2n or n is itself 1. To kya hua? 1 into sigma raised to 2 into 1, yani 1 into sigma square, yani sigma square. So, zahir hai ki mu 2 n ko 1 rakhne se jo aya hai, that has come out to be equal to sigma square, the variance of the normal distribution. So, you already know that for any distribution, the second moment about the mean is the variance. Now, if you have n ko 2, rakh de, to what do you get? Mu to n is equal to mu 4, obviously, 2 into 2. This will be equal to, this expression can be put n ko 2. So, what do you get? 2 into 2 minus 1, that is 4 minus 1, that is 3 into 2n minus 3, any 2 into 2 minus 3, any 4 minus 3, any 1. So, 3 into 1, which the last two terms, hai, they are the only two terms, if you have n ko 2 rakhen to. And with that, which sigma raised to 2n, likha hai, that will be sigma raised to 4. So, 3 into 1 into sigma raised to 4 is 3 sigma raised to 4. These two results, hai, in ko use karte hue, let us look at the moment ratios, the well-known moment ratios, beta 1 and beta 2, that are utilized to measure the skewness and the characteristics of any distribution. So, beta 1, jo hota hai, mu 3 square over mu 2 cube, normal distribution ke liye, because odd order moments are all 0, so 0 square over mu 2 cube, that is equal to 0. This means that the normal distribution is absolutely symmetric, hai, uske liye beta 1 comes out to be equal to 0. And this is a benchmark banaya gaya hai to measure or to determine the skewness of other distributions. This means that the kurtosis or the beta 2, the second moment ratio, which is for this purpose, is given by mu 4 over mu 2 square. Or abhi abhi maine aapke saamne mu 2 or mu 4 dono nikale hain. So let us put those expressions there. Mu 4 over mu 2 square is equal to 3 sigma raised to 4 over sigma square whole square. So that is 3 sigma raised to 4 over sigma raised to 4 and that is equal to 3. Normal distribution ke liye beta 2 has come out to be 3. Normal distribution ko hum mesocurtic bhi kehte hain. To chunke normal distribution ke liye beta 2 ki value 3 a gai hai. To phir dunya ne isko adopt kiya as the benchmark for measuring or determining 
دا کرٹسز آف ادر ڈسٹریبیوشنس اگر کسی بھی ڈسٹریبیوشن کے لیے کسی اور اس طرح کے ڈسٹریبیوشن کے لیے بیٹا ٹو تھری کے برابر ہی آ جائے تو دین وی ول سے کہ دیٹ ون از میزو کرٹک یعنی ایز پیکڈ ایز دی نارمل ڈسٹریبیوشن سو دس از آل کوائٹ انٹرسٹنگ آئی ایم شیور یو ول اگری 